Hey guys, it's me, Julie, back with another video. So it's Fresh Finds Friday. So I thought we could just continue with the jewelry we were doing yesterday. Why not, right? It's a fresh find. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, if you're new here or if you just need a refresher and you'd like to purchase something, pause the video. Hold on. Pause the video now. And this will tell you exactly what you need to know to make a purchase. And just so you know, um, this says on Saturday, I'll send you an invoice. It's probably Saturday or Sunday, that should say, over the weekend. <laughs> this Saturday, we're doing my family's Easter. So I'm going to try to get things done before that, but it might not happen. Okay, so don't forget, you guys, this Monday which is April 10th, 2023. I am in an Easter collaboration. It's like Secret Bunny, like Secret Santa. Um, myself and seven other YouTube channels changed names and sent each other Easter boxes with 10 pieces of jewelry, one piece sterling silver, the rest either signed or why aren't you signed pieces. Um, so let me tell you, it start yesterday I messed up, you guys. I think I said it started at 1 o'clock. I don't, I don't know what I was thinking there. I'm going to blame it on bronchitis brain still. <laughs> Can I do that? <laughs> anyway, um, it's going to start at 4 o'clock Eastern on another chance resale. That's Kristen. And then it's going to follow in half hour increments, okay? Um, Shady, New uh, Shady NY, Maryland. Uh, Laura at Jewelry Etc., Deborah at Deborah's Timeless Jewels by Deborah, Cindy at Fun Surprises, Susie Dragonfly Bees, and Paula's Jewelry and Auction House. Those, that's everybody that's participating. Um, I am on at 6 p.m., and I think I'm going to do a little giveaway. So you guys can have a little mystery too, right? You guys need some mystery jewelry. Okay, let's start. And the piece that I pulled out first is a stunner you guys oh my it's sterling i believe we're gonna test it just in case can you see all that moonstone so it has four moonstones i'm gonna guess this is amethyst maybe these are peridot i'm gonna put it on the gem tester in one second and then these um i can't tell if those are blue or purple these guys but let's test it it is marked right there and it says something 925. Let's try and look with the good old lens and see what we see. There we go. Um, maybe an ADA and an OP 925. Oh, maybe that's India, you guys. Whoopsie. India and then DP 925. Whoo, come on, eyeballs. Okay, let's check what um, some of these stones are. I don't believe Moonstone shows up on the gem tester, if I remember correctly. Speaking of gem tester, you guys, <laughs> I was like, look at my lovely garnet ring. Guys, do you see right there? It's brown. It's not garnet. Like, what was I thinking? <laughs> I couldn't see, honestly. That's what I was thinking. Okay, I'm on the Moonstone. Yeah, it doesn't move for that. Let's try the purple. It is amethyst. Trying the green. Okay. Um, I don't know where Peridot reads. So did you guys see where it read? Oh, there you go. Maybe somebody can tell me if that is where Peridot reads. That would be amazing. And whoops. I'm trying the little guys, guys. Oh my, I keep falling off. Okay, I think the little itty bitties are just glass. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm going to go, I'm going to go $35 on this one, you guys. $35. Three, five. I hope you saw that number. I think I showed it. Okay. What's next? Oh, this is neat, you guys. I thought this was so cool. Um, and it's great for summertime coming up. It's Napier. You guys see it right there? It's in cursive. I can't remember the years for cursive versus block lettering. I should have looked that up again because it's not stuck in my brain. 
um, yeah, I'm trying to get that on the same side. There we go. So you have this really cool, like, starfish looking guy. It needs to be wiped down. Is that? Yeah, it's coming off. It just needs to be wiped down. It's like ivory enamel, gold tone, this cool hook. You've got some white um, acrylic beads with gold tone, like flat pieces. It is really cool, you guys. Maybe it would look better this way. Oh, yes. Look at that. Mm -hmm. It's gorgeous. So, so pretty. I am going to go 15 on this one, you guys. 15. One, five. Um, guess what happened today? You're not going to believe it. I went to Play-Doh's closet for the first time. Not Play-Doh. Plato, P-L-A-T-O. I'm just kidding. You probably all know that. I said that for my husband because I brought him home a couple things. He has no clothes that are not like work clothes. <laughs> so I brought him home a couple things so he could not be our company. <laughs> I almost said our company name. I never share that because I'm just getting nervous with all if trolls leave me bad reviews on Yelp or something. Sorry, I was fixing that earring. Cute little clippies. Not signed, gold tone, really nice condition. Four dollars on those. Anyway, I went to Plato's Closet, and um, that's the first time I've ever been to Plato's Closet. And um, yeah. Oh, guys, I was gonna test this. Let's test that just to make sure. I I can't imagine that it's not sterling, but we'll test it just in case. <sighs> guys, it's not a good place to go when you're a purse addict. <laughs> my purse collection might have grown a little bit <laughs> so um you know hook a girl up and buy all this jewelry will you just kidding but yeah oh my gosh I had so much fun let me tell you and it's not really my fault it's Kate's fault you know that Kate Spade oh she kills me <laughs> oh my gosh okay anyway it looks like this needs a little wipe down but this is really cool, you guys. Check it out. Isn't it pretty? Very, very pretty. And it is marked. It is a trafari. I don't think it's crown. Let's look. Is there a crown there? Nope, just trafari. So pretty. Check it out. Oh, that's so pretty. Let's get you a drop on this one. Um, because it is... I try and always measure if it's shorter, you know? Um, it's a six inch drop, guys. It is on the smaller size. So let's do this. Let's just get your total length. Um, since it is on the smaller side, let's get you a total length here. Um, I'm having troubles keeping, <laughs> it's not the necklace. It is definitely the operator. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Total length would be, um, Anybody else love Kate Spade? I just love her stuff. It's a 15 inch total length, you guys. 15 inch. I'm gonna do this one for 12. $12 on that one. Okay. I just love, love, love Kate Spade. I just do. I just do. It seems like everything she does is awesome. And they had this purse. It's this little purse. Um I'll have to show it to you. It's not very big. I could show it to you. Um, that I had tried to purchase on Shop Goodwill, a green one, and they had it in red, which is even better for me. Check out all these little stones, little scarabs, little more Egyptian revival. I believe that's WRE 120th 12 karat gold film. Very beautiful. Let's do let's do 10. Ten dollars on that one. So I was so happy to see that bag. I'm like, oh my gosh, I wanted that bag. Okay, you guys, I've got a sand dollar. And I'm not sure if he's sterling. I'm betting probably not. He's got some wear. Let's see. What are we going to do, guys? I'm stalling. Okay, I found it. <laughs> Look. Oh my goodness. Okay, yes, magnetic. Okay, so this guy's got a little bit of wear, guys. So let's check him out so you know what you're getting. Um, I can see a teeny bit of coppery coming through. You guys see all that? It is a pendant. 
okay? There's a little bit of copper coming through there and some dark spots. Okay, so we're just gonna do $2 on this, you guys, $2. I would probably still wear it personally, but I know everybody has their own ideas about that and that is totally fine. Okay, got some faux pearls. It looks like I grabbed a lot of faux pearls. There was a section in this jewelry that was like all faux pearl. Um, Monet, see it guys? Triple strand of gorgeousness. I love this clasp. Dun -dun. Wow, so pretty. Do you guys have plans for Easter? Those of you that celebrate Easter, I know not everybody does. Um, tell me, tell me. So my mom back in the day, she didn't really give us Easter candy. Thanks a lot, mom. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, seven and a half inch drop, you guys. This is really beautiful. Um, let's do, let's do 12 on this one. $12 on the faux pearl Monet. So what my mom would do is, um, she'd hand us an Easter egg, you know, one of the plastic eggs and we'd open it and inside there'd be a clue, um, where to find the next egg. And then we find the next egg and there'd be a clue and so on and so forth. And then eventually we get to a present and it was typically like, um, I don't know, like a present that you might get for your birthday, like that kind of present, not like a really Eastery present. Okay, guys, I messed with this forever the other night and I couldn't get it. I think it is gettable. I think it was my nails being a real pain in the butt. But like I said, I tried for a while, so I'm just going to charge accordingly. Um, that you would have to fix that. These are like a silvery, maybe light gray, blue. Yeah, I don't know. Like an icy, wintry color. That's what I picture. <laughs> it's got pretty good length, faux pearl. Let's just do $5 since it needs a little help. They're in really good condition. It's just that clasp that got hooked in on the side. Did I show it well enough? Let me show you what's going on. The hook, instead of going in down here, is hooked around the side piece. See it? Like I said, I think it's fixable. I quit. <laughs> I didn't feel like doing it anymore. Okay, we've got a wooden necklace. I hope I pulled enough jewelry, guys. Um, is it wood or is it resin? I think it might be resin, you guys, made to look like painted wood. There's your spring ring, and you've got like these flat discs. This one is probably how it was made, but I wanna show you that. Um, let's get you a total length on this guy. Total length. Yeah, so tell me about your Easter celebrations. I'd love to hear. Okay, this is being a wiggly worm. <laughs> Guys, I'd say it's about a 16 inch total length. Let's do $5. Okay, so I did find a couple purses that would be good for selling, but I think my purse videos need to go by themselves when I start doing them. Kristen D was telling me that her customers are either jewelry customers or purse customers. They don't really overlap. So I think that it would be better in its own video. Okay, this is Anne Klein. Do you see the copper coming through right there? A little bit of copper, a little bit of copper right there. Silver tone. I wouldn't say it's in excellent condition. I would say it needs a little bit of a wipe down. Oh, that's a good view of it. You see it? Um, and then it goes down to faux pearl, which is like really cool how it's put together. They're not in the center of the bead. Um, is this string or is this yuck? Uh, it's string. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Yeah, and it comes down to this. So let me give you an idea of what it looks like. So you have this silver tone chain down into this cool, really cool necklace. Uh, faux pearl part. The whole thing's a necklace, Julie. Let's do $5. And Klein makes nice stuff, you guys. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, we got a brochy brooch, a swishy brooch. I think everybody, well, 
I don't know if everybody, but I think most people have owned a swishy brush brooch at some point in their life. That's coming off, guys. Sorry. I didn't see that. Um, it's ivory enamel and gold. And it is signed. And um, I think that says Monet. Let's see. Whoop. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> You're going to have to trust me. It's Monet. It's very pretty. Let's do five dollars. Five dollars. I know I've told you before about my jean jacket with all the pins on the back. And it's so funny. I wonder how many of those things were Monet um, brooches. I bet there was a lot that was Monet. Um, okay, we've got a little wreathy brooch. Sorry, I'm trying to get him closed so I don't get poked. Oh my gosh. Okay, there we go. It's really pretty, like a braided silver tone. Let's give it a little magnet test. Nope, it is definitely just silver tone, not sterling silver. Let's do, let's do $3 on that one, $3. So Bryn was having a hard time today and yesterday because I was home so much when I was sick that uh, her separation anxiety was not doing so great when I left yesterday and today. <laughs> Poor little thing. And she's so funny. Um, we have a fenced in yard for them. We did that last year. It was the best thing I've ever done. Um, these are faux pearl, you guys, lever backs. Really pretty, not signed with probably just an acrylic piece there. Let me hit it on the gem tester. So where we park, um, is kind of like in front. Oh, hold on. It's moving. Oh, hold on, guys. Oh, Hubs is home. Okay, it's acrylic. These are really pretty. Let's do let's do four dollars on those. So where we park, part of the fenced in area is in front of our vehicle. So she can see me when I leave and when I come home. So anyway, she's always like waiting somehow she always knows when I come home and then as soon as I open my car door she takes off like a rocket like front legs and back legs joining in the middle as she's running kind of like a bear cub you guys know what I'm talking about <laughs> I swear she is so fast you guys oh no it's a broken a dollar <laughs> she's so fast she's like a rocket ship and then if I don't move my butt and get in the house, I can hear her like, Mom, let's go. Only she says it in a much louder way. <laughs> okay, this is cute, you guys. Um, I think these are bone. Can you see them? I think those are bone. I'm not sure what the black would be. So maybe simulated bone. And then it's got like, hmm. Like, I think this is brass up there, too. And it's got a brass ring and some rings here and here. It's cute, huh? Let me get you a better view of it. Ready? I would definitely say there's some wear on these things. Can you see? Not horrendous, but there is wear. I will do this guy for $3. Okay. Okay. So we just, I just went to a job with Hubs to help him put in this big door, swapping out um, the old sections, which are like the pretty part for new sections. Okay, guys, I don't know anything about this. You're going to have to help me. This is 999 silver. So it's marked 999 silver. So that would mean that 99.9% .9 of this is pure silver. 925 means 92.5% of it is silver. So this is a beautiful, almost pure silver necklace. And I don't know how to price this. <laughs> and my second question is, will this test properly as silver? So we're gonna do an experiment afterwards um, at the end and we'll test that and we'll figure that out together. Okay, I've got a little like enhancer, but it's not 
I don't think it's big enough to go on pearls, but it's kind of like an enhancer, do you see? It looks like a shell, and then it opens this way, like this, and would go over a necklace. Isn't that cool? And it is signed. I can't for the life of me remember who it is. Oh yeah, KJL, Kenneth J. Lane. Can you guys see it? There we go. Uh, KJL, there we go, KJL. So this is gonna be $12, you guys, $12. Gold tone, I think that one showed up pretty well as gold tone. Okay, this is a little vintage flower pen. This was actually with a different piece of jewelry, uh, jewelry lot, and I kind of just threw it in here. It's really cool. I believe this is a plastic. It's a flower with a little faux pearl. I guess it could be a real pearl. I'm not positive on that. A little faux pearl stamen. And then you can see here the pin back. And this does say Western Germany on it. Um, let's see. Can I get you guys to see that? I think you might have to trust me. So um, I am going to do this one for $8 eight dollars it is beautiful you guys beautiful okay what have we got we've got some earrings why am i singing <laughs> okay anyway okay all right we've got some wear do you see guys see that the luster's off the pearl right there so i'm just gonna put these in craft it's a bummer they're cute little clippies dollar in craft Okay, Bryn has not stolen my craft jewelry yet, so that's a good, that's a plus. Okay, let's see what else we got. Oh, I think I grabbed this, I think I got into a silver, sterling silver area, guys. <laughs> okay, check these out. Aren't they cool? <laughs> Little textured earrings. These are clips. Let's see if they're signed. Oh, yep, it says Mexico 925 and hob h-o-b okay so we're going to test these at the end which we should probably do soon and then we have this piece is a sterling let's see yep it's marked right there nine to five little vintage sterling with a spring ring i think this one says italy let me look guys hold on one second this one say italy Yes, it says Italy, you guys. 925 Italy. Let's hit it with a magnet. Just see if... Yeah, it looks like it is. Um, and it's got that, like... You know the way that silver sometimes turns and it looks like... Kind of a little goldish on it? <laughs> or copperish? That's how that one's turnishing. Okay, and we got another pair of earrings. Check these out. Aren't they beautiful? And they're not solid. They are hollow, so they're not super heavy. Um, I don't know if this pair was marked. Let's look with our lens. I'm getting a little bit better with this. Mm, is that something right near the hinge? Let me look with my, with my loop. No, it's not. I'm making stuff up. Oh, geez, guys. Guess where it's marked. <laughs> It's marked, um, let's see, right there. It says 925. <laughs> um, these are really nice. Let's check those. We'll scratch them. All right, let's see what else we've got. Okay, a seed bead necklace. We're going to look at a couple things, more things, and then we're going to test. Seed bead necklace. I keep singing. I am so sorry. <laughs> sorry to put you through that. It's brass, uh, lobster claw, extender, awesome color. This is a beautiful turquoise color. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, let me get you a real good look at this. Oh, wow, you guys. Now, look at it in all its glory. When I just held it up, it was like a peacock opening its tail. <laughs> look at it. Oh, jeez. Look at it. So pretty. Oh, I think this is awesome. I love it. So up at the back, it looks more brassy. Here, it looks like gold tone. So, so pretty. Okay, we are going to do sing-songy again. Uh, we are going to do $10 on this one. 
ten dollars. Okay, let's look at a couple more things. What's this? We got some more ivory and gold tone. Well, let's see here. And it is signed Napier. And Napier is in cursive. Cursive writing. Script. Check it out. This is cute. Fold over clasp. Ivory acrylic. And gold tone. These are metal. Yep, I think so. And they're metal pieces. Oh, look. Can you see? They're kind of like striped. That's cool. Gives them a little more dimension. Let me get you guys a total length on this one. It's a beautiful gold tone fold over clasp. And total length is 18 inches. 18 inches on this guy. Let's do $8. $8 on that one. All right, what do you think? Let's test, because I'm really excited. How about you guys? Especially this 999. Am I gonna try to price that? <laughs> oh, I snorted. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, someone said the snort was priceless when I snorted that first time forever ago. And I, I said, it won't be the last. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's scratch away. And look, they're nice in order for me. Okay, here we go. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Ooh, did you guys make your guesses about what you think is going to be silver? I want to be careful of this. So, is pure silver really soft? I'm wondering if that's why they mix it, make it an alloy. All right, so I'm curious on this if we should test this part and the front. Let's do that. So we're going to test the front there and then the clippy part. Just curious. And then we got this guy, the rope chain. Okay. And then we got this guy. Let's get it in an inconspicuous spot if we can. All right. Did you guys make your guesses? Guess, guess, guess. Here we go. I'm guessing that they're all sterling. Well, I don't know if you call that one sterling because sterling is 925, right? So guys, I don't know if I've ever watched what happens really closely. So I was watching this like crazy this time and um, it was really neat, like the scratch ballooned up into little particles and then settled back down as that. That was neat to watch. Oh, guys, I don't think these are silver. Oh, they're fibbers. Let's try a little bit better of a scratch. You know, I was going to say that scratch is a little bit reddish. Oh, oh, fibbers, fibber, fibber, fibber. Let me, I'm going to check that. I'm going to double check that mark. Make sure that's what it says. Yeah, it says Italy 925. See that? Fibber. They're still beautiful, but they're fibbing. Okay, so let's just make these $3, you guys. $3. Okay, so we learned some things. We learned, oh gosh, I'm sorry, guys. We learned that 999 Silver will test and show us. Um, we learned with these that this part is not sterling, just the face. I was curious about that. Okay, and what else do we learn? I don't know. Okay, so we already priced this one. I think I had said 35. That's number 73. Let's skip that one for a second. We have these vintage Mexico clip-ons. Let's do these for $10. $10. Okay, and then we have this sterling rope chain. Um, should I give you guys a total length on this one? Yeah, it's a little shorter. Let's do it. Then you'll know. Then you'll know for sure. And you guys, a good way to know what kind of necklace you like without even needing, I'm sorry, what length? This is 18 inches. Um, necklace you like without having a tape measure or something like that um, is measure a necklace that you really love where it falls. Okay, and that gives you an idea. Um, I guess you would need a tape measure for that, wouldn't you? <laughs> Nice one, Julie. Nice one. 
Okay, um, this is going to be 25. 25. And the last one is the 999 silver, guys. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to price this. Hmm. <laughs> the person who used to own this put a funny note in here. 999 silver, expensive. <laughs> I think this note is what's scaring me. Like, how do I price this? It says expensive. How do I do it? <laughs> um, okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I am going to give you a total length first on this. <clears throat> give you a total length on this guy. 18 inches, you guys. So maybe this lady liked 18 inch chains, right? Um... And I am going to make it $50, okay? Five zero, fifty $50. It's got really pretty, um, that's the back, really pretty, um, de um, like edging on it. Okay, $50 on that. And if it doesn't sell, I'll know I was too high and I can fix it. <laughs> but we're going to stay there for now. Okay, so we did it. We're in our 30 minute, 30 minute ish mark. Awesome. Um, my mom gave me feedback that she thinks that 30 minute videos would be better. <laughs> so tell me what you guys think in the comments and thank you so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate each and every one of you. Don't forget Monday, mark your calendars, take the afternoon off, tell the family they need to feed themselves. If that's your job, <laughs> tell them I'm busy. I'm doing an Easter collaboration. I'm going to be in the middle of this, do not bother me. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, guys, have an awesome night. Have a good weekend. And for all of you who celebrate Easter, have an awesome Easter. Bye-bye.